Welcome back my fellow collectors. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at Toy Lines' Acid Rain, The Last Line of Defense Firepower Enhancement Pack. This is the FAV AP02 set. This is the box that it comes in. This is a small little collector's box. Nice quality box with some nice artwork on the front. On the front of the box, on the top left, starting, we have the Acid Rain logo. We have the Last Line of Defense Firepower Enhancement Pack at the top. And we have two of the characters from the Acid Rain universe. Down here, we have the FAV AP02. We have some kind of logo there, or some kind of club you can join, I'm assuming, and Twilight Alliance logo. Overall, a very nice pre presentation of the box. On the top of the box, we have Acid Rain. The War Under Pollution. That ball in the box don't have anything. Inside the box we have a UPC, which I will show you that in case that helps you. I'm not sure it's going to help you in the States here. And then on the side here, we have Made in China Firepower Enhancement Pack. We have some kind of logo, Acid Rain there again. And on this side we have the Toy Lions. And then we have Firepower Enhancement Pack and that logo again. On the back, we have the picture of the product that you're going to receive. We have that club information and a description that these are a 118 scale military infantry unit, fully weathered detailed, highly completed action collect collectibles, interchangeable weapons and accessories. And if you want to contact or view www.acidrain.com is their website toy alliance logo not sure what that's for and here's a warning that this is not a toy these are marketed for your dog collectors starting at around age 16 and above and there is a warning for checking hazards small parts not for children under three years of age so let's go ahead and get this out of the pack let's see what we get what it looks like mm -hmm. so there is two pieces of tape on the top and bottom so we're just going to cut that For safety purposes, take off the top piece, and we can have our pieces exposed here. They are separated between a piece of plastic. So, what these are, these are barriers that you can do multiple things with. Very cool. So these are very heavy weathered and very textured to touch. If you touch these, you can feel the weatheredness. Is that a word? Weatheredness? A, uh, you know, a gritty feeling to it. Very cool looking. We have the yellow on the front. We have these black stripes. And then on the bottom here, we have some more sculpting. Very nice. The sides here have these little handles. Top, we have these little posts. The back isn't painted at all, it's just sculpted. It's like a barrier type design, I'm assuming. And here's the other one. What's really unique about these is if you have, you take the two for one. You first off, let's do this. They are just you can stand them up side by side if you want, or connect them like so as a barrier. And you can go to as, as many as you want to buy, which is pretty cool. But they are front heavy, so if you put a figure behind them. You can weight them down and they stay up like so. One figure can hold them up. Pretty good, right? Or 
you take one and you can you can unfold this here right or just slice this here but when you first get to be very careful they're not um worked in yet as you saw as you do it so many times they will become a little more usable and not feel as stiff and want to break but then you can do that with your barriers try to do the other one here you do get your skin caught in those things so be careful you can do separate barriers like so or you can connect them together like we had like so like that Can lay them down. Just put these back down very carefully. Okay. You can uh, also utilize these two front pieces here and here, and you just connect them together. Put them in the slots like that. And you get an effect like this, if you so desire, or you know you could do anything you want to do with these things. I'm not sure if that's a application or even like and push them in all the way. Stand up like that. If you can use them for anything, or, you know, on a side. Kind of wobble because there's handles on the side. I mean, that's option. That's an option for you, but that's you know, it's just meant to be like this, or like this, with the bottom pieces out. They also have a feature to where these are also double as a canopy for the. Uh, for the sand trailer that they offer. But you're going to need two sets of these for the sand trailer. I've been eyeballing acid rain figures for a long time and haven't bought them until just recently. And just this is my first pickup. It was the these in the sand trailer, which is gonna be our next sneak peek to a future review here soon. But uh But one thing's interesting, they said that these are hand painted and you no two pieces of the weathering are alike. Let's see if that's true, because I do have two sets. Hmm. Okay, well, this one's definitely different because it has this corner here on all four of them. There's a difference from those two. Yeah, it's definitely different because there's more heavy up there and there. It's all the weathering. You have a spot here. Yep, all four of them are different. So you could take these things all day long if you want to create a barrier. I don't know if I can get it all on a camera because it's pretty long. There's four of them on mine. That's a barrier. Camera angle wide enough. Uh, let's see here. So this is the top of the of the sand trailer that we're going to take a look at here soon in a coming review. So that's how that trailer would look on the top, how they fit over top of the trailer. I don't know, I don't think these combine the way the trailer is set up, but we'll find out when we do the review. I mean, if you don't even need the trailer to do that.
pretty cool, right? All right, so let's kind of see what we get. The accessory packs here. It looks like you get a belt fed machine, machine gun, maybe a mini gun belt. Great plastic with a weathering wash on it. Very cool. Got a little shell there on both ends, kind of. We have a shoulder pad for one of the characters. We have a a mask, I believe, from the literature that the manufacturer provided. This is a um, mask for a Seth Ranger, if you have that figure. I'm not sure if I boost him up to like a command or a squad leader or whatever. I'm not too sure. I'm sure you guys that have been collecting acid for a while now have some idea that's uh, what that's for. But it did say for South Ranger mass. So, you know, even on, uh, you can see here on the box. So, the other bag of accessories we get, we get this really, really cool minigun. Barrels are drilled out. We have a silver barrel. It's kind of weathered. Dark gray plastic that's weathered. Very cool. So I guess maybe a self-supplied, you know, ammunition here and here. I don't like that. This one doesn't use this belt fed. From the literature, this is for future. This and another piece is used for future products. So this minigun is self-driven. Here, these are drums probably for the ammunition. Very cool. Um, this one and this barrel here. And this piece is also goes to that belt fed thing from what I understand from the website. Um, this would get fed. This goes on the back of the figure, the strum piece. It's a peg right there. For future uh, releases, I'm assuming, is what it said. It may be all released, and that gets fed into there like that. And then you feed the belt here. And then you can um, put onto another minigun, but not the minigun that comes in a set. There's nowhere you could utilize this. This is meant for a different, different type. The different type won't have these barrels here on the bottom, I believe, from the pictures. That's how that would work. So you can't use this until you, unless you have that accessory already. You get two of these little grenades. They're not painted like, like you can paint from inside here to here. You can paint it red, yellow, red for incendiary. You can paint it yellow for like flash or a stun grenade or you know, smoke grenade if you wanted to paint it. But if not, they do hoop, have this little connector piece that you can hoop them onto the uh, belt of some of the figures. But you get two of those. You get this really cool knife. It is, it is definitely heavy weathered. There's like there's some rust on it and some dry blood maybe. Very cool. And you get this uh, Rizuka. Very cool. 
Nice design. I like the handle on them. And then we have a, a round, a rocket inside. It is removable when you first get it. It's kind of stuck. So you got to yeah, we're gonna give it some um, force to pull it out. But we're just make sure you uh, when you pull this thing out, you're pulling straight out. Don't like we go down upside to side because you're gonna bend this peg. So just get a hold of it once you have it in there. Pull straight out if you don't want to damage your rocket. Very cool. And then we have this sniper rifle, dark gray plastic with the weathering. We have the tan on the side there. Pretty cool looking. And the draw barrel is drilled out. Very nice. I love that effect. It makes them look more realistic. Even though they are 118 scale. This one here we have the same paint pattern as the sniper rifle. This one has a drum, a foregrip, a scope. Pretty cool looking. Overall, pretty good scent. Um, I was messing around with these on my first set I had. These are very compatible with other lines, like because they are 118 scale. And I don't have any acid ring figures at this point in time. This and my sand trailer is my very first purchase. But these look and are used very well with the Joy Toy figures, if you have any of those. I mean, just look at that minigun. That kind of looks like it was made for him. I love the color match, too. Very cool. So if you guys collect joy toy figures and you're trying to maybe get some other stuff to add to your universe or if you collect joy toy and acerine, you can interchange at least the minigun part and the weapons I'm assuming. So I was trying to give you guys a little idea how they look inside of a figure's hand but I just don't have any joy toy figures at this particular time. Uh, so let's see if he holds this rocket very well. I did notice that the uh, the grips are just a bit bigger than the joy toys. So, but uh, he could definitely use these weapons of mass destruction. Not sure how well he's going to hold this gun, but we're going to give it a try. Yep, that's what we want to do. Uh, so I'll judge behind and through the camera there, so we'll try this. See what he does. Uh, yeah, he, he can hold it. It's just, it keeps falling out. It's just a bad, it's a tad bit bigger than what the joy toy offers but they'll fit you just gotta you know play around with it for a while i don't want to spend too much more time on it make this video too too long but sure purposes you can hold them they are a little bigger than what the joy toy figures are but uh look, look pretty cool i'm sure we can get a nice pose out of them if we really tried so if you're interested in these things, um, I think they go around, I think these Acerine figures are quite pricey. I mean, Joy Toy figures alone, you thought those things are expensive, man, but these uh, Acerine figures are pretty, I mean, I see figures up to $45, $50 for one offering, one figure. But this set, an individual set, which you can only get two of these, uh, it, I paid $34.99 for one set. So I got two, so $34.99 times two. And if you want the trailer to go with them, um, that's sold separately. And I'll show you, that, I'll show you guys that as a sneak peek here. 
So this is up for an upcoming review. It's a sand trailer. I'm not going to get too much into it because we're going to do a review on it. And that's what the actual canopy looks like. Those canopy pieces, those sets come in different colors. So you can see they have a sand, they have a green, they have a, almost like a metal color. And they have the yellow, of course. I do like the yellow and I like the green is my favorite so but the green isn't out yet and a lot of places are pre-order sold out so what's going to be really cool about these you could buy you know a ton of these trailers connect them together you can have a different color of the canopies if you would like or all the same color maybe different colors to represent different contents in your cart and when you're transporting your logistic goods from one point to another point and that we can identify you know oh which car has my medical supplies my weapons my gear you know whatever explosives you know all right guys so hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did please subscribe so you can get a notification when i upload more videos I like the trailer that i'm gonna be doing here soon um these are pretty good quality they feel a little hard at first be careful once you start working them a little bit, like this flaps on the bottom here. You can definitely um, get um, get them to work pretty good and feel more fluent and not so wanting to break. But use caution when you're playing with these because they're for doll collectors. So please consider subscribing, like and share the video if you want to. Uh, comment below. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys find everything you're looking for. Happy collecting. And we'll see you in our next review.